Welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to talk about prepositions of direction and motion. Let's get started. Remember that a preposition is usually a short word used to link nouns, pronouns, or phrases to other words within a sentence. Have a look at the example below. If I'm not mistaken, her birthday is in May. Note that the preposition in in this sentence is used to link the noun May to birthday, her birthday. Now there are many types of prepositions. Among them are prepositions of direction or motion. Note that these prepositions are used to show movement from one place to the other. Remember that we usually use prepositions of direction or motion when we answer the question beginning with where. Have a look at the example below. Where are you going? I'm going to the supermarket. Note that the preposition of direction or motion to tells us where we're going. The supermarket. Now there are several commonly used prepositions of direction or motion. A. To. To is used to show movement in a specific direction. Have a look at the examples below. I'll head off to work in a couple of minutes. In this sentence, the preposition of direction to tells us exactly where I'm headed. And in this sentence, Kimberly moved to Florida a year ago. Again, the preposition to in this sentence shows Kimberly's movement to Florida, which is a specific direction. Note that you can also use towards in the meaning in the direction of. Have a look at the example here. Why are these policemen running towards Eric? The preposition towards meaning in the direction of Eric. B. Into. Now, into is used to show movement into something, enclosed space, while onto shows movement on top of something, the surface. Have a look at the example below. The dog jumped into the kennel while the cat leaped onto the roof of the kennel. Note that the preposition into in this sentence is used to show that the dog jumped inside the kennel. In this sentence, however, the preposition of direction or motion onto is used to show that the cat leaped on the surface of the kennel, on top of the kennel, not inside. C. Across. Across is used to show movement from one side to the other side of something. As in the example below, you can't walk across the street whenever you want, meaning that you can't walk from one side of the street to the other side of the street. D. Over. Over is used to show an upward and forward direction across something. As in the example below, the boys jumped over the fence and chased the cat. Meaning that the boys jumped upwards and chased the cat. E. Through. Through is used to show movement within an enclosed space from one point to the other. As in the example below, 
I don't like driving through the tunnels. I feel a bit anxious then. The preposition through in this sentence shows that I do not like driving inside the tunnel. F. Past. Past is used to indicate movement near something while you are on your way to another location. Have a look at the example below. I waved at Mary, but she walked past me, meaning that she walked near me while I was on my way to another location. Now let's review the use of prepositions of direction or motion and practice a bit. Remember that we use to to show movement in a specific direction. And we use across to show movement from one side to the other side of something. Read the following dialogue and fill in the blanks with to or across. Where are you going? I'm going to the local bakery. They sell super delicious bagels there. It's right the street. I'm going to the local bakery. They sell super delicious bagels there. It's right across the street. Also remember that we use into to show movement into an enclosed space, while we use onto to show movement on top of something. Read the following text and fill in the blanks with into or onto. My dog jumped the couch next to me right when I opened the bag of jerky and put my hand it. My dog jumped onto the couch next to me right when I opened the bag of jerky and put my hand into it. Also note that we use through to show movement within an enclosed space from one point to the other. And we use past to indicate movement near something while you are on your way to another location. Now read the text below and fill in the blanks with through or past. The bike drove right me and I just fell from unexpectedness. But the person didn't stop or anything. He went to the park and disappeared. The bike drove right past me and I just fell down from unexpectedness. But the person didn't stop or anything. He went through the park and disappeared. Here is a short story using prepositions of direction or motion. Listen as I read so you can see how they are used in real life conversation. After I'm done, Make sure you understand all the grammar and read aloud yourself so that you can work on your own fluency and pronunciation. Excuse me, sir. Could you tell me how I can get to the nearest supermarket? Surely. You have to go through the small park over there, then turn right and go past the cinema. Right on the corner, you'll see a huge supermarket sign. Just go across the street and there will be the entrance. Thank you very much. And now it's time for you to practice on your own. Read the following sentences and underline the correct preposition. A. Sarah's cat always jumps onto to her bed whenever she enters the bedroom. B. I usually go over through the park on my way home. C. Walk across through 
the street at the traffic lights. D. They walked into, through the room and stood frozen. E. You are highly motivated when you are working past towards your goals. F. I need to go to towards the library to get some books for my research. G. This ferry can take you across over the river. H. The dog jumped through over the fence to greet its owner. I. Michael usually buys coffee in the morning, but this time he was running late, so he went to pass his favorite coffee place. J. The lady carefully stepped from the train into onto the platform. Now, let's check your answers. Sarah's cat always jumps onto her bed whenever she enters the bedroom. I usually go through the park on my way home. Walk across the street at the traffic lights. They walked into the room and stood frozen. You are highly motivated when you are working towards your goal. I need to go to the library to get some books for my research. This ferry can take you across the river. The dog jumped over the fence to greet its owner. Michael usually buys coffee in the morning, but this time he was running late, so he went past his favorite coffee place. The lady carefully stepped from the train onto the platform. Thank you for watching this tutorial.